hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm starting a new series nigerian legal system versus uk legal system and i am going to start at the education level today the requirement the process on both jurisdictions so i will start off with the uk before i go further subscribe share my videos my channel to anyone who might find it helpful not just to you and also please if you require legal advice regarding your specific legal matters please call the sra or the law society and they will sign post to you to the relevant law firms that may be able to assist you this is very vital because no two cases are the same okay with that out of the way i start off with the uk legal system the rules the way to becoming a solicitor because i'm a solicitor we know that we don't have a infusion like in nigeria or the us so either way whether you're becoming a barrister here or a solicitor you still need to obtain the relevant law degree that takes you three years over here and under the the old systems it now appears as if we have two regimes to become a solicitor in the uk starting from last year and the reason why i say that because you didn't have up until 2032 to become a solicitor under the old rule lpc route after that after your law degree you complete the lpc you then go towards completing your LPC usually takes about eight months, so call it a year, and then two years to training contract, which we know the headache it was causing a lot of us to obtain that the training contract, be it at the um, big law firms or or even the high street. Either way, it was a huge roadblock. So I applaud the SRA for taking the initiative to have now come up with SQU, but I think more needs to be done. I leave that on aside. So that's under the, the LPC regime. Under the new system, SQE, Solicitor's Qualifying Exam, which now seems to have replaced the LPC at the university level, because they prepare you for the SQE, which is SQE1, SQE2. I'm not gonna give you the costs, I've discussed that in my previous video. If you need more information on that, you can watch my old video on that, on the cost effect, how much it will cost you to complete the SQE preparation at university level and then take the exams, which there are different costs as well. After you've not completed that, um, whether you have the qualifying law degree, CPD, GDL, you then go on towards obtaining two years qualifying work experience again even though it's not a matter of you completing the uh, the training contract you still need to complete the two years qualifying work experience i think is vital anyone who has not gone through the process would not appreciate how vital it is that work experience because you need to have that experience of drafting of communication of research you cannot get that at just a uni level that work experience prepares you for that so i'm happy that that is still there to help everyone to be the, the best lawyer you can be that is the uk system under the nigerian system they have infusion like the us where once you complete the bar you are called to the bar and you become both solicitor and a barrister in nigeria you have to complete five years law degree then you proceed to completing the youth service mandatory we all know how that can be very important in nigeria we've seen how it cost the former finance minister her job because of the problem concerning her not probably completing the youth service or whether she completed it or didn't properly either way it created a problem for her so that is very important in nigeria i believe there may be occasion where you can where you can apply for exemption and that depends at the age your age at the time you obtain your degree after that you then have to go to the nigerian law school 
I love the Nigerian Law School. I don't think we get enough credit of what good things are in Nigeria. There are, and it's one of them. I'm going to be t telling you a, a lot what I think is quite worth. At the Nigerian Law School, it doesn't matter where you're going to end up working, whether with the big law chambers or the high street chambers, everyone completes the same electives the same program at the nigerian law school before you pass the exam the reason why i love that it removes that idea that you you are not from you haven't completed the commercial route before you can work with the big chambers it also it doesn't mean that there is no you still face the obstacle of obtaining the job but if you've done well at the Nigerian Law School, probably you end up with a 2-1 degree or a first class. You have a big fighting chance of ending up in, in chambers like Oyebode and Aluko. So for that reason, I love that system. For me, who didn't do a lot of commercial law in, in the UK, it opened me up to mergers and acquisition and corporate matters. So that is one thing I've taken away from the Nigerian Law School because we don't get enough of what is good about that that's my personal observation experience and so all that takes you seven years five years law degree one year youth service one year at the nigerian law school so that takes you a total of seven years uk six years nigeria seven years it's still the same rules you have to be passionate about doing law to pursue it i absolutely love being a lawyer just the what it gives me the joy it gives me that i'm able to research to find solution to find the law to find my clients cases it gives me so much joy i don't know what i've been doing everyone sees it and the first thing they look at me and say you are such a lawyer lawyer i am and I'm, and I'm, i cannot apologize for that and i do not have shame about it and so find what you love what are you passionate about because then you wouldn't think about the sacrifice you're making it becomes part of you 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 enjoy it so until then, I hope this video has given you much information you require. But if there's anything you want me to clarify, or maybe I've not said something very, that is not quite correct, bring it to my attention and I will correct it. We are all learning together. This is us giving us information and encouragement to becoming a lawyer. Until next time, keep subscribing. Come back to my channel. Don't, don't be a stranger. <laughs> okay, bye.